I am Dr. L. Prasanna Venkatesh, Department of Mathematics, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology, deemed to be university. In this video, I am going to discuss the concept of basic probability. The motivation of this topic is probability is common sense reduced to calculation by Laplace. The real time application of this topic is in weather prediction, in pre and post survey of election in sports result prediction and in medical research analysis. While predicting whether what is the chance of rain today, 70% chance, 60% chance, so all these things are the concept of probability. While predicting which party is going to get what percentage of vote, anything, any result that is given in terms of percentage is probability. And in sports re result prediction, while we see the scores, they will give uh, information like there is a 60% chance for this team to win, 40% chance for the other team to win. So all these chances are basically probability. And in medical research analysis, there is a uh, this much percentage of chance that if this medicine is taken, the disease will get cured. So all these situations, we encounter percentages in the form of chance and this chance is probability. Let us see some example to understand more about this concept. First, what is the probability that a head appears in tossing one coin? When we toss one coin, the possibilities are head or tail. So there are two possibilities and what we want is head. So it is one out of two, which can be in terms of numeric represented as one by two. Supposing we are tossing two coins, there will be four possibilities. Those four possibilities are head, 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 tail, tail, head, and then tail tail. So there are four possibilities and we want two heads. If we want two heads, there is one possibility favoring that. So one out of four. Mathematically, it is one by four. And since there are two coins, there will be two squared possibilities. We can represent it as one by two squared. There is a reason why we do this. While finally uh, summarizing all these things, we can uh, understand why I am representing this. Supposing there are three coins, in three coins I want three head. While tossing three coins, there will be eight possibilities, head, 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 till, tail, tail, tail. And the chance is one out of eight because we want three heads and there is only one possibility having all three as head. And this is mathematically represented as one by eight. Since three coins, there will be two cube possibilities and it is represented as 1 by 2 cube. Summarizing all that what we have done, when we toss one coin, getting one head is 1 by 2. In tossing two coins, getting two heads is 1 by 2 squared. In getting three heads and tossing three coins is 1 by 2 cube. And in general, we can generalize in tossing n coins, getting n heads as 1 by 2 power n. So let us see what we have done in all these examples. First, we are tossing coin, either one coin or two coins, three coins or n coins. Then we listed all possibilities in tossing that coin. Then we are picking the possibilities that is required for us. In the first case, we pick the possibility of getting one head. In the second case, we pick the possibility of getting two heads. In the third case, three hits and so on. And then finally, we calculated what is the chance. How did we calculate the chance? The chance in the form of a ratio. So tossing coin is what we call as an experiment. And then observing all possibilities, listing all possibilities is called sample space. Picking all possibilities that is required is called as event. And then calculating its chance in the form of a ratio is finally represented by probability. So first we perform a random experiment and then we observe all possibilities and then we pick the possibilities that is required and then finally we calculate the ratio which is the chance for what is required. So what is a random experiment? A random experiment is doing some process knowing what are all the possibilities that is going to happen but not knowing which possibility is going to occur. Then we have sample space. Sample space is the set of all possibilities associated with a random experiment. And what is event? 
event is a subset of the sample space associated with a random experiment. And for this event only, we tend to calculate probability. So probability of an event associated with a random experiment, which is denoted by P of E, is defined as number of favorable occurrences divided by total possible number of occurrences. Number of favorable occurrences for favoring that event capital E, often denoted as N of E, and this total number of possible occurrences is denoted by N of S. Summarizing. The axioms of probabilities are probability of an event lies in between 0 and 1, probability of sample space S is 1 and probability of null space is 0. If E1 and E2 are two mutually exclusive events, mutually exclusive means one will avoid happening of the other. Probability of their um, either one of them to occur E1 union E2 is P of E1 plus P of E2. So note that when E1 and E2 are not mutually exclusive, P of E1 union E2 is P of E1 plus P of E2 minus P of E1 intersection E2. P of A complement, complement of an event is probability that it will not happen and that is calculated by 1 minus P of A. At least is mathematically equivalent to greater than or equal to, at most is mathematically equivalent to, less than or equal to and either A or B is mathematically expressed by A union B and A and B is mathematically expressed by A intersection B. Now we can go for a problem. What is the probability that a randomly selected leap year will have 53 Sundays? We know that a leap year will have 366 days. Out of 366 days, there are 52 weeks and 2 extra days. These two extra days can be possibly Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday and Saturday, Sunday. And we want one extra Sunday and that could be possible either Sunday, Monday or Saturday, Sunday. So the favorable occurrences here are Sunday, Monday and Saturday, Sunday. Total number of occurrences are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So out of 7, we have 2 favorable occurrences. So what is the probability? It is 2 out of 7, 2 by 7. So it is number of favorable occurrences divided by total possible number of occurrences, which is 2 by 7. Let us discuss another problem. A card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. What is the probability that the selected card is either a king or a queen? The second question, it is either red or ace. So we have to discuss these two questions separately. First one, king or queen. So for that, first we need to know what is the total number of 52 cards, how they are classified. Just let us look at this. We have claver, horton, spade and then diamond. 13 cards each from 1 to 10 and then we have jack, queen, king. So there are totally 13 cards of which 9 cards are numbered, 4 cards are non-numbered. And the first possibility, either a king or queen, we can easily see there are 4 queens and there are 4 kings. We want one of these 8 cards. So the favorable number of occurrences is 8 and the total possible number of occurrences is 52. So what is the ratio? It is 8 out of 52. So first one, it is 8 out of 52, it is 2 by 13. The second one, we want either red or ace. We already know that out of 52 cards, 26 cards are red. Remaining 26 cards are black. Out of these 52 cards, there are 4 ace. Ace claver, ace spade, ace diamond, ace heart. So, out of these four A's, two are red. So there are some intersection possible. Therefore, what we need to do is, these events are not mutually exclusive. So we have to make use of the formula N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. So the first one is selecting a red card. There are 26 red cards. Second one is selecting an A's. There are four A's. 
the simultaneous possibilities of Ace and Red, there are two, Ace Horton and Ace Diamond. So, N of A intersection B is 2. Applying it in the formula, we get N of A union B is equal to 26 plus 4 minus 2, which is equal to 28. And what is probability? Number of favorable occurrences divided by total possible number of occurrences. So, it is 28 divided by 52, which is 7 divided by 13. Hope you have understood the concepts which I discussed, as well as the application of the concepts in solving problems. Thank you.